nice to see you. My name is Ben Brill, and today I'm going to do a review and unboxing of the new ukulele made by the guitar company Lug. So in this video, I'm going to show you what it's like out of the box, how to get it set up and ready to play. Uh, also a couple upsides for it, and I'll, I'll let you know if there's any downsides. I was considering making this my main recommendation for new music students. I teach a ton of kids how to rock uh, on uke and guitar. I wanted to mainly check this out for two reasons, which I'll, I'll tell you here in just a second. The number one thing that makes me excited about this uke is that it's already got some strap buttons installed and ready to go. This saves me a lot of time and makes my students really happy. Uh, second, all instruments I've seen from Luke just have a really cool aesthetic. They just look nice. I mean, we've got this pick guard. Everything just looks modern and sleek. All right, so here's the Luke coming right out of the box. This is my... um. Uh, my first impression as I uh, take it out, get it in tune, get it all set up. Uh, so first impression, a uh, super clean looking instrument. Looks sharp, it feels good, um, nice and smooth edges. Uh, it also comes with a card deck of chords. Now I've had the uh, Luke guitar chord charts, I haven't seen the youth ones. Let's see what's going on here. Excellent, they just they redid the Lug uh, card for the uke. So you've got four strings there. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, I also choose to buy a strap from Lug every time I get a Lug instrument. Uh, it really helps with a lot of posture and playing things, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute here. All right, so you'll notice that right out of the box, uh, no instrument that you get in the mail, no matter how good of an instrument, it's gonna need to be tuned first, because it's gonna sound like this until you tune it. It actually wasn't too bad. Now I'm gonna use a clip-on tuner. I've tried many different ones, and right now I think the Taylor is the easiest one that I've found uh, for kids. It's got a ukulele setting, and you just set it to you, uh, and then it just makes a lot more sense than some other tuners. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description in case you wanna pick one up. All right, we're going for the standard soprano ukulele tuning, GCEA. All right, we're ready to hear that first chord out of the uke. Let's see how it sounds. And by the way, as you uh, get ukulele strings in tune, it's often necessary to go back and tune a couple times because they just take a bit more time to settle in than a steel string. So here we go. So far, so good. That sounds really nice to me. Um, something else I noticed I didn't realize before, this instrument has bridge pins instead of a bridge where you would feed the strings through and do this sort of complicated knot system. Uh, I do think for beginners, this is gonna be easier for you to change the strings. All right, so it's time to take it for a little test spin. Uh, after that, I'll just do some really quick kind of quality control tests on it. All right, here's how it sounds with just some standard chord style playing. with that nice and smooth tone uh, let's head up the fretboard a little bit here yeah nice tone no problems there um, everything sounds good to me here uh, I'll check the intonation which is comparing the 12th fret to the open string Yeah, for me, uh, my ear doesn't notice anything weird there. That sounds good. Seems like a well set up instrument. All right, let's take a quick look around and see if we have any fret buzz in any of these notes. All right, we got 15 frets in here. I don't hear anything weird. It just everything's nice and clear. So impressed, that's great. Uh, if you do decide you want to get a Lug instrument and want to save a few dollars, uh, check my video description below. Lug was really generous to give me a discount code to use for my subscribers and music students. All right, so what's the big deal with all these strap buttons? Why do I think that's such an important thing? This is just my opinion, but I believe it solves almost all of the posture problems and the challenges of holding this instrument in a way that is easy for you to play it. 
Uh, let's look at your alternatives. If you don't have one of these kinds of straps, uh, here's what you can do. Uh, you can go strapless, uh, and in that case, you know, there's a sort of technique for holding it this way. What usually happens if I try to teach kids this, they're going to be in a situation kind of like this. It's a little hard to explain the, the right posture. The other kind of strap that I used to recommend to my students to help them with posture is called a classical style strap, which you can get. These straps basically go around your neck and they connect to the instrument from the bottom of the sound hole like this. Uh, good things about this really helps with uh, posture. Uh, bad things about this, which I think are, are quite a few. Uh, you can't totally let go of the instrument if you do. If this clip is even slightly touching the strings. Oh gosh, please no. Uh, but the most common problem with these is, you know, I go to my lesson and I'm like, hey, nice to see you this week. Uh, you got your uke good. Uh, do you have your strap? Nope. Well, where, do you have any idea where it is? <laughs> so they're just really easy to lose because they don't really attach to the instrument. But some really high level players do use these. I like them, but I'm just saying for a kid, it can be a little hard to to make this make them happy. With this kind of strap, something I like to buy is a strap lock. Um, these are little silicone things that clip over the strap. You just slip one of these things on there, you won't ever have to worry about the strap popping off, which can be annoying. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, again, my name is Ben Brill. If you do want to save a couple bucks on a uh, Lug uke or any other Lug instrument or accessory, uh, scroll down to the description. I've got a code there. Lug was super generous and gave me a code to use. Uh, hopefully it's still working. You're, you're welcome to give that a shot. Uh, if you're interested in private lessons, I do occasionally have virtual availability for awesome, fun, student-centered lessons. All my students have a great time uh, and they get to creativity and writing their own songs pretty quickly. Stick around, hit subscribe. You can see all kinds of video lessons for helping kids learn their first instruments uh, and a lot more instrument reviews to help you get a good idea for what's gonna work really well for your child. All right, that's it for now and I'll see you next time. <laughs>